If you've ever wondered how points and condensers work in a small engine, let me show you. I've done th two things for you guys. I got a live example and I got a diagram for you. So let me identify a couple parts real fast and what makes them up and what makes them tick before I just describe how the whole system works together. First you have your flywheel. You have a magnet in the top. You got your magnet. You know, so basic flywheel. We have our ignition coil right here that comes up to our spark plug. Here's a better view of it. So you got your ignition coil with spark plug lead. Um, the way this works, what that makes this tick is you'll notice right here you have two sets of winding. You have what's called a primary winding and a secondary winding. Um, one side, they both ground out to the frame of the engine. It's ground out to here and they bolted to the engine. And one of the windings, your primary winding is this wire right here that is represented with this blue wire that comes down to your points. And then you have your high tension spark plug wire that comes up to the top of the spark, spark plug. And this is essentially just a transformer. So if you want to know a little bit more how this works, you can look up transformers and how they work. Um, down below our flywheel, down in here, we have our points and our condenser. Um, they, and they're not always here. Sometimes they're on the side of the engines. doesn't really matter. Um, this is what this one looks like in there. This is our condenser. Um, on the very top is one of our points. And on the top of our little arm right here is our other points. And what this does is as the engine moves, it stays open the majority of the time. And at one split second, it just closes just for a split second. Closes and opens right back up. Only at one point in the whole entire rotation. And how it does that is there's a little, um, essentially divot, a little dent on the crankshaft. And as it spins, there's a little push rod right under here. And what will happen is it will just fall in. I don't know if you can see this moving, but essentially it just drops. I mean, it's just dropping teeny, teeny amount. But that's our systems. Let me explain how they all work together. The points are open 99% of the time. They're not touching. Um, it is sitting out here, not touching. As the magnet rotates and gets into position um, right below the, the coil, it passes the armatures of our coil. And what happens is every magnet will have a north and south pole. So as it passes one, it pushes a north and south field, a north field and then a south field through one armature. But by that time, it's over on the other side and it pushes the north and south field through the other side, causing an alternating current, which is needed to make a transformer work. So electricity is actually built up into our primary coil and starts to generate. And at the same time, our points close for a split second. So now, when I say close, they're actually touching. So our points are touching, electricity is flowing through our primary coil and out. We're making a little generator. That's it. Now, through inductance, the secondary coil is picking up electricity from the first one just through electromagnetism. It's picking up electricity. This will have 150 wraps of wire. This one will have about 20,000 wraps of wire just around this iron core. And it's picking up the electricity that's coming through here. But it's not enough to jump a spark. But as our flywheel rotates and our magnet starts to pass our coil, what happens is the magnetic field generated by the magnet is leaving. It's gone. So at that same time that the magnet field, magnetic field is leaving, this is starting to lose its, connect, it lose its current. You know, There's no more electricity being um, produced. So the field is starting to collapse. At the same time, our points open up. They open back up, so they're not touching. And all of the electricity is now, which is touching just the top, top of our condenser, is now diverted into the condenser and stored in here for a split second. Okay? And the condenser serves two purposes. Um, the, first, the main purpose is to prevent arcing at these points. Otherwise, every time that snapped open, it would leave a spark and it would burn up these points pretty quickly. So that electrical discharge that was going through here now just comes into here and gets stored. And now the electrical magnetical field is collapsing around our primary and now we just have our secondary that has electricity building up into and it starts collapsing but at the same time it's collapsing the condenser pushes electricity back into our primary winding which gives a boost to our secondary 
and as they're collapsing it sends a huge spark through our spark plug wire down into the spark plug and jumps the little ground the little gap inside our spark plug that leads out to ground um, that little air gap right there and that's how it works and the way they kill this engine the way you shut this engine down is you'll see one of two things you'll see a wire coming off connected right to this same exact wire that comes out and comes to a switch and the switch will just ground out to the frame and all you're all you're doing is diverting that or there'll be a, a little metal tab that's connected to the top of the engine that just sits there and comes over and touches the top of the spark plug essentially just shorting out the circuit straight to ground and never allowing the spark to jump so the number one reason that most of these points actually fail is probably just dirty contacts so just the contacts in between them just get dirty and fail the second most common problem is a bad condenser but condensers I mean I've had I've pulled condensers out that are 30 some odd years old and they're still good they still work they just needed a little cleaning engines back up and going within uh, you, you know within minutes um, if you are working on a particular engine that you need to know how to do the points in, I do have most engines um, on my channel. I will put a, uh, a link in the description below to Tecumseh or Briggs & Stratton, the various different ones that I've done before on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down, um, subscribe, and why not? Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.